The Rocky Mountains provide the backdrop in Boulder, Colorado, and if you're looking for the Buffaloes, they ain't hard to find. We've got a sensational matchup for you. Fans have been filing in and getting ready for this game. As we'll see a squad from the SEC, the Vanderbilt Commodores, taking on a team from the Big 12, the Colorado Buffaloes. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth, as always, by David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Guys, let's tee this one up. Commodores will kick it away first. On the move from inside is five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. The Buffaloes offense takes the field. And as the game evolves into an aerial circus, sometimes you find a superstar running back like this guy. And when you got this guy, you ride this guy. You give him the ball, you run the football, you find ways to continue to feed him because he just gets stronger and better as the game goes on. All right, well, the offense here, they're trying to get this run game established. They obviously don't break off a long run there, but they're just trying to find their footing at this point. And the Buffaloes want to move quickly. To the air, it's Sanders. Gets it out quickly. There to make the tackle, but the big throw is good enough to give them a first down. That was a nice pickup, running the drag route and finding that quiet, soft spot in the zone. Yeah, drag routes not only work against man coverage, they work against zone, too. If you can find the soft spot and the quarterback gets it to him early, he can turn up field, and you saw that right there. play action on first down he uncorks one deep and the DB forcing the incomplete pass with the deflection DB does an outstanding job here on the deep pass locating the football no PI able to swat it away passing second down coming up he's looking to throw Receiver looks it in, it's complete. Oh, the ball squirts out. The offense somehow fell on it, and they'll retain possession. And let's hold on just a minute here as the officials are going to have a second look. So the officials take a closer look, and the replay booth will overturn the call. Back to the air one more time. Catch in the middle, it's Hunter. They convert on third down as he gets it to the 46-yard line. When you're a playmaker like this guy is, your coaches are going to dial up plays intended for you, especially on third down. That's what you saw in that last play. There was no question where the quarterback was going with that football. All week long, they decided on the biggest downs of this game, we're going to target our best player, and we're going to make sure that he gets looks. It doesn't matter what the coverage is, and you saw it right there on that play. Off the play fake on first down to throw. He'll take a deep shot here. And he'll take it in and house it. Touchdown, Buffaloes! Quarterbacks love receivers that can get separation, but that amount of separation uh, is a little excessive. I agree, Reese, and I think the defense needs to have a little powwow on the sidelines and talk about what just happened because that was an absolute busted coverage on the back end. Defense can't keep playing like that. Getting set for the point after. And the extra point makes it 7 nothing. The officials offer the deal and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. The kickoff team out there to boot it away and 15 yards farther up the field after the roughing the kicker penalty. Not going to get a return here. They'll bring it out to the 25 as the kickoff sails through the back of the end zone. So Vanderbilt's offense will take the field for the first time. 
As we take a look at our impact players for this one, what are you looking for, Jesse, for a guy to make an impact? Well, these are simply put the leaders of this football team, and generally games go how these guys play. If they make plays, then they've got a shot to win this one. No doubt. they got to show up. These are the team leaders. These guys have to play well if they're going to win the football game. Man, this offense is so dangerous, Reese. They've got dudes all over the field that can make plays. There's a big gainer in the pass game. You get a chunk of yards like that, now the defense is really on its heels. That last play is the kind of thing the offense can really build some momentum on, and now they've got it first and 10 outside the 40. They'll try the run. A seven-yard pickup. It'll be second and three. I know it's sexy to throw the football, but if you can pound it away and get these kind of gains, they will just add up, wear the defense down, get first downs, and ultimately get some points. Good spot after that seven-yard pickup on first down. It's second and three. Back to pass. It's Carter. And he throws down the gut of the defense. It's incomplete. That last incomplete pass has him staring at a third and three. Wants to throw on third down. Makes the grab down the middle. And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. And on that third and short, I don't think he was unhappy to see that zone. Nope, it was a great job by the offense. Hey, see where the holes in the zone are? Sit down. You only need a little bit of yards on this third down. Get the conversion. Move the sticks. And the Commodores are moving quickly down the field. Off the play fake on first down to throw. And this will be incomplete. A big hit there forces second down. Well, the quarterback knew he wanted to go to his tight end on that play. He's a big physical target, but it was the hit on the play that forced the incompletion. Didn't connect last time. Let's see if they throw it again on second down. The give to the back. Fights off a defender. And he fights his way forward. Gets away from one, but not much doing on that one. And I can't tell you how much I love seeing corners being willing to come up and tackle. That is so huge for a defense. You can't Olay blocks and create space. You can't just hang out on the outside. You gotta go set that edge. And conversely, I can't tell you how much I hate it when receivers don't want to block. You gotta do a better job on the perimeter. It's not gonna be enough in this offense just to catch passes. You gotta go execute your assignment. That corner should have been blocked, and they should have gotten a bigger gain on that outside run. They'll try to put three on the board as the field goal unit comes on. He'll try to knock it through from 38 yards out. And this one splits the uprights. They were able to get a field goal on the board, and now they'll kick it away. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Colorado has the ball back, and the Buffaloes hoping to put their team in prime position on offense. Shakes off the defender. He's brought down at the 29 after a 10-yard gain. All right, well, look, I know the defense was feeling real good about their run D coming into this one and how they've been playing up to this point, but finally, David, the offense breaks through and they finally generate something positive on the play. And I can't tell you how easy it is. When you're going to throw the ball consistently, and I know it, I'm going to pin my ears back, and I'm going to get to the quarterback. It makes life 
really easy on the defensive line. But when you can have balance, now the defense doesn't know what's coming. They need more of this if they're going to be successful on offense. You complete some of these hitch throws early, you're setting up the hitch and go. Later on, you can pump fake that, and then the receiver can pirouette right up the sideline. That might be a home run play for the offense. And the Buffaloes are in the hurry up. They'll put the tight end in motion. They'll ride the running back and leave it with him. They finally make the stop, but the big run is plenty to move those sticks for the first down. And that is just an attitude run, running it right up the middle, right into the teeth of that defense. The Buffaloes come to the line with a fresh set of downs. On the run, it's Sanders. It's incomplete, and trust me, you will not see that very often from this guy. It's second down. Obviously, when you're playing in weather like this, the ball is very slippery, and it's hard to catch. The QB threw a bullet that time, and his receiver just could not reel it in. Here comes the offense on second down. Out of the gun, the inside handoff to the running back. Dragged down at the 43, but they've got it in enemy territory. They picked up 10 and give them a first down. Well, I know this is an offensive line that has a ton of pride. They want to come out each and every game and really impose their will on the D line. They got just enough push there on that run play to pick up the first. Might as well run him until they stop him. He's got it again. And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no-gain land. It's hard to run on a defense that comes off the ball like that and runs to the football like that. Good luck. No holes anywhere. They got nothing on the last play. It's second and ten. Motion from the offense. Touch pass on the jet sweep. They'll pick up five. It'll be third and five. Well, and on these little push passes, timing is so important. You're trying to snap it right as he's getting a full head of steam. When he gets the ball, he's hitting the outside, and David, it puts the defense in such a difficult spot. You immediately have to be rotating when you see that motion, so everybody's got to communicate and kind of bump over. That's why offenses love to run. It just it makes the defense communicate and see if you can just get him out of a spot. Third down play from the gun. He looks that one in nicely. Working their way closer and closer. A third down conversion, and they've got it at the 26. That's tough on the defense there. Third down, you're in zone coverage. Everybody's watching the quarterback, and you're trying to make a break on the ball, but he just got it out of his hands too quickly, and the throw was too accurate. Really nothing you can do there, and it's now a fresh set of downs. Wide receiver now comes in motion. Looking to throw, it's Sanders. Spits it out to the back. Oh, he makes a catch. Into the end zone. Touchdown, Bucks! And this offense right now, they're doing some damage through the air. That's now their second passing touchdown. They thought coming into this game, they were going to have some matchups on the perimeter of the field that they could take advantage of, and they've done that so far here today. They'll try to add another to their lead. And he did get that extra point through with no problem, despite the snowy surface. They marched 79 yards on the drive, and they finished the deal with a 26-yard touchdown pass. Just about set to kick it away. And he takes this from inside the five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Vanderbilt has it back and heading out to go on the attack. 
It's always great to get points on a drive, but it would behoove them to try to get a touchdown this time around, Palmer. They may have to get out of their comfort zone here too, David, a little bit and just start being more aggressive and take some chances, but that's what's going to have to happen for them to win this game. Yeah, and when you're losing, obviously everything gets heightened. Everything becomes more critical. This drive is crucial because you've got to cut into this deficit and put some points on the board. Off the play fake on first down, wants to throw. Moving away from pressure. He'll pull it down. Well, you're making a positive out of a negative. And that time, quarterback, nice job buying time. He's trying to throw the football downfield. Nothing there. So instead of throwing it away and getting the incomplete, just get what you can get and make this next down more manageable. Let's see what they've got on second down. Scanning the field. It's Carter. Extending the play. On the run, and he'll slide to avoid the big hit. Guys, Colorado has the lead here. They wanted to strike first and strike hard, and they've been able to do that here in the first quarter as we take a look at the stats. This could be a pivotal moment in this game as we open the second period, and they try to find a way to answer He's looking to throw on third and short. Using the back as a receiver on the screen. He steps out of bounds, but he's got enough for a first down. Well, that play was designed for that down and distance, right? You saw how he barely got enough to pick up the first. Really nice job by the play caller there, understanding the situation and what play to dial up. The Commodores have this offense rolling. Wants to throw on first down. Good timing on the quick out. He's brought down quickly. Minimal gain there. Still a bit short of the first down. Nice job there. Good timing between the QB and the wide receiver executing that out route. That completion leaves us with second and medium. Pre-snap motion quarterback trying to get a read. Got it behind the line. It's Alexander. And they wrap him up, but not before he gets enough on the catch for the first down. You know, it's funny. I know running backs oftentimes are afterthoughts when it comes to the passing game. But when you think about it, this guy's been making people miss his entire life taking a handoff. So why wouldn't you try to get him involved in the passing game as well? You just saw in that last play how dangerous he is after the catch. Looking for room. It's Alexander. Good pickup on that play. It'll bring up second and four. Coaches always harp about staying ahead of the chains, and when you can run with that type of efficiency on first down, man, you are doing just that. Six-yard pickup on first down leaves him with second and four. Looking for a man, it's Carter. Fires to the big fella. He stopped at the 32-yard line, pick up a five on the play, and it'll be a first down. They saw that blitz coming, and the way to get out of it is find the tight end. Yeah, how quick did he see that, too? He sees the blitz, understands this is a matchup where I got my big tight end, the big fella I trust. I'm going to find that matchup, get him the football for the first down. They'll go to the ground. And excellent vision to find running room there and make a really good pickup before the defense put a stop to it. I love when players understand situations and they understand where the first down marker is and they understand where I got to get to. A lot of people you'll see run north-south and try to bounce out wide and make big plays. Sometimes it's not about making big plays. Sometimes it's about getting that first down to make sure I get an extra set of downs instead of trying to make those big touchdown runs. Couldn't fight his way out of his grasp. That DB had a different story. He had something to say. Coming up, making a physical tackle. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. The RPO fire complete to the left. He's brought down, but there's a flag on the play. Let's see if it stands. So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. After that five-yard loss, some work to do now to keep this drive humming at second and 15. 
Able to make the tackle, but not before he gets five yards down to the 21. It's going to be important this offensive line is able to get a little bit of push. Just got to give this guy an inch, a little crease, and he can make yards for it. Just outside the red zone at the 21, but it's third and long. Dropping back, it's Carter. He's got his man. They make the stop, but this passing game does some damage, and they move the sticks with the first down. I love that from this offense. Three is good. You're in field goal range, but now we're set up with first and goal because of great third down execution by this offense. Stay aggressive. Even when you get in this part of the field when everything shrinks and gets a little bit harder, you still want to be aggressive. A first down run on the doorstep. He works his way all the way down to the three, and the defense is reeling. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. They've got it down to the three. Now it's second and goal. Pre snap motion in the backfield. Touch pass on the jet sweep. Touchdown, Vanderbilt! And they made it to the house where they found that six points waiting on them. If you're able to move the ball in a drive like that, the most overrated stat in football would be field position. Agreed, and I think confidence is big right now after that last drive. To be able to flip the field like that, not just do it, but go down and score a touchdown. Running and throwing. For this offense now moving forward in this game, that last drive is going to pay big dividends. They'll try to tack one more on their score. And the PAT will draw them one point closer. That is what they mean when they say ball control, a 14-play touchdown drive. He'll start the return inside his five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. And the Colorado offense is coming back onto the field. Looking downfield, it's Sanders. He's got it. Oh, he's so hard to get on the ground. He's got room. And he's brought down after a huge completion. I know it's early in the game, but defensively after that play, you know you have to tackle the catch. When this guy gets the ball in his hands, he is so dangerous after the fact. So it's okay for him to make catches. You just got to get him to the ground quickly. And the Buffaloes will hustle to the line. The offense showing motion from the tight end, trying to get a read on the D. With the run on first and goal. Forges ahead for one to the eight-yard line. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. He'll run it to the middle, looking for the end zone. Dragged down at the six after a pickup of two. And this offense trying to be physical inside the five-yard line. I get it, but I tell you what, Palmer, this quarterback has earned some trust for me with the day he's had. Yeah, right now he's thinking, put the game in my hands. I'm playing well, and I'm seeing the defense well. I see what they're doing from a coverage standpoint. Count on me to throw a touchdown here and help out our team. Fires to the end zone, and it's caught! Touchdown, Colorado! And the defense just has to do a better job in coverage in that situation. Down close to the goal line, you know it's going to be man coverage. You just have got to do a better job sticking on your guy. The defender just simply got beat. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And with the extra point, it's a 21-10 game. 
quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And they get it into the end zone with a six-yard touchdown pass. Kickoff team has the ball teed up, and they're about ready to go. Here he comes from inside his own five. And they'll haul down the returner to start us on the next drive. Vanderbilt has the ball again, and here comes that Commodore offense. The lone back's got it. Just wanted to find a little space to run and ekes out some to get it up to the 21. You want to talk about making it easy for an offensive coordinator. You pick up a bunch of yards on first down, make that second down really, really manageable. That's a great job by the offense. They can really be aggressive after that last play at second and three. Looking for a gap. It's Alexander. They get him on the ground, but not before he gets enough for the first down. Well, the defense is on their heels right now. They're going to have to find a way to stop this guy. When he's got a head of steam, boy, he is hard to bring down. They'll start this one from the 29 on first down. From the gun, running back gets to give. He's got a yard out to the 30-yard line. You know, I think a big part of this isn't necessarily scoring a touchdown on that play, but you're just trying to get your offensive line in the rhythm of the game. Let those big fellas get lathered up. Now on second down. Back to throw, it's Carter. Almost had the completion, just missed it. Well, I think the ball just got on the receiver so quickly. He took his time working this route, and by the time he got his head around, the ball was already there, and he just wasn't able to stab it. Now this offense facing a third and long from their own 30. From the gun, wants to pass. Gets open down the middle. And he couldn't quite get to the marker, and that's going to bring up a fourth down. Defense calls a quick timeout there, perhaps a little confusion about what call they were in. And the Commodores will punt this one away. The punter going to get his first work of the afternoon. Here's the fair catch, and he'll make it close to the 20-yard line. Ready to fire from the pistol. Wasting no time throwing on this drive. He's right on target. And those slot receivers nowadays, they're little water bombs, man. You, you can play touch football in an elevator to lose to these guys because they're so quick and so dynamic. Get open and catch the football. Offense gets set for second down. He's looking to throw. Fires to the wideout. And that pass will be jarred loose on second down. That brings up third down. No, and that's your goal. Separate man from ball. Try to get your shoulder in there on the catch point and really make give him something to think about. Physically jar that football and knock it out. Nice job by the defender. Went up top on second down. That leaves him needing a yard here on third down. Caught near the sticks. It's Hayden. He stopped quickly, but not before he has enough for the first down. Third and short, and I guess the only thing they really took out of play in the shotgun was the quarterback sneak. Yeah, and that's kind of what I like to do, Reese. I mean, third and inches, I, I want to run the quarterback sneak, run the football, but this team fully comfortable throwing the football, and you see why. Easy pitch, easy catch, first down. They've got the screen set up. Not a whole lot of room there on that screen pass as it just never developed. Those screen plays, you really want to sell it, get it to your running back, and get him to the second level. Get him running full head of steam on a safety, on a linebacker. He almost got going, but just got tackled before he could really do any damage. Grab near the marker. It's Hunter. Good job running that route to get past the sticks because he got nothing after the catch. This offense is clicking, everything working together really well. Coordinator, quarterback, offensive line. Good rhythm, good flow. Defense is going to have to find something to kind of mess up this timing they got going on. And the Buffaloes with the first and ten. Got the quick pass. 
Really confident throw and catch there. Big pickup, and they have a first down. Quick timeout call by the offense after the play. They have a first down at the 41-yard line. To throw, it's Sanders. Unloads to the wideout. And it's incomplete. If you're going to take a hit like that, you might as well hang on to the ball. They'll spread the defense out, going five wide on second and ten. He's looking to throw. Got his man downfield. And he just kept running, and he ran away from the crowd, and he'll take it in. Touchdown, Buffalo! That is what we call in the industry a defensive breakdown. That guy was loose for the big play. Uh, busted coverage, uh, really, really bad execution. Somebody slips, somebody falls. Nothing about that defensively is something you're looking for, but... The offense will take it and, and get the easy touchdown. Ready to try the point after. And with the extra point, they're on top by 18. So it's a 77-yard touchdown drive. And the final 41 yards covered by that touchdown strike. They're just about ready to kick it away. On the run from inside his own five. Just a few seconds remaining here as they try to put something up before halftime. Give to the back. Got the first down and more. And he's out of bounds after a terrific run and a nice pickup. One of the things I love about this offense, Reese, is they have tons of speed. They like to try to get the ball going east-west. That time they generate a huge play going to the right side. And the defense either not fast enough to fit or got knocked out of the fit. Yeah, they got to do a better job containing that as this game goes on. They got to funnel the football back to the middle of the field. Quickly out to the tight end. They'll knock him down, and that'll take us to halftime. First half in the books. Time now to join Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Thanks, guys. A first half that saw a little bit of everything there in Boulder. And there is no better place to start this halftime than by reviewing how this wideout has been a one-man wrecking crew. The kid's been everywhere. And I love how he's willing to go across the middle but that he also has the Jets to burn these DBs on the deep ball. If this defense wants to actually come back in this one, they better hide his cleats. And with that, let's send it back to the guys more than a mile above sea level at Folsom Field. The Buffaloes will try to kick this one deep to get things underway in the second half. Looks like he's going to try to return it. And the return man reaches the end of the line, and down he goes. Vanderbilt has it back and heading out to go on the attack. They come into this third quarter with a lot of work they need to get done. Yeah, and it starts with this possession. And, and I'm, I'm going piece by piece, and I know this is coach speak and very simple. I score. I get a stop. I score. I can get back in this game, but it's got to be one drive at a time. It's going to have to be, but I think the mindset offensively is we're probably going to have to score every time we get it because our defense has been struggling. They have not been getting a lot of stops, so this is a critical drive here for this offense. Trying play action. And the defense makes a play, sacking him back at the 10. Oftentimes with play action, you're asking the quarterback to hold on to the ball a bit longer, and you're asking this offensive line to hold up and pass pro a bit longer. Against this athletic front seven on defense, it's going to be tough. And this offense can ill afford to come up empty on this drive, already trailing by multiple possessions. 
and they fail to hook up on third down. Well, after struggling so much in the first half, you thought they would have made some adjustments here at halftime to see if they can open up this passing game. But early on in the second half, you're just not really able to get that done. Incompletion on third down in your own end, you're expecting them to punt. The Commodores line up to punt it away. Three and out, they got stuck in reverse. They hope the punt can bail them out. He only needs a sliver of daylight. And you make the stop, and that is exactly what you want out of your punt cover unit. Colorado has the ball back, and the Buffaloes hoping to put their team in prime position on offense. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. I never know if it's grammatically correct to say a team is being out physical. You hear it a lot in football, though. That's happening in this game. They are just not getting the push they need all game long up front to have any success when they decide to run it. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. The give to the tailback. And they'll wrestle him to the ground after a short game. How bold will they be on third down after that last run? Trying to make that rush think on the draw play here. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. And the Buffaloes will line up to punt it away. A fairly short distance here toward the sidelines. Not his best work. Vanderbilt has the ball again, and here comes that Commodore offense. Boy, three and out last time, David. They'd like to be more productive this time around. Yeah, in the last drive, nothing really clicked. No rhythm. Got off the field really, really quickly. They need to put something together here, Palmer. Yeah, David, bad execution on that last drive. So they got to take a collective breath and start playing like a unit on this drive. After picking up a couple at second and eight. On the move. It's Carter. Throws to the wideout. He's got it. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. And as a quarterback, you know when you're throwing a corner route, the football is going to travel a long distance. So you've got to have great timing. You've got to get the ball out of your hands before the receivers come out of his break. You've also got to put a lot of air under the pass so the wide receiver can locate it. You can tell this quarterback has thrown a ton of these routes in practice. They'll leave it with him. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Great job by the whole defense, but how about the little bitty defensive back throwing his face in the fan? I ain't scared. I don't just cover guys. I make tackles. After losing a couple on that last play, here's second and 12. He's looking to throw. And the pass is incomplete, jarred loose by the hit. All right, that's a good result for the defense. We knew coming into this year they wanted to really improve their pass defense and their secondary and coverage. Nice job there. A third and long coming up here. The snap sets up the throw. Grab behind the line. It's Livingston. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. They allowed the completion, but this defense was swarming to keep them away from that first down line. Yeah, and you allow completions in those third down situations underneath the sticks, and you come up and rally, and everybody flies to the football. That's great execution by this defense. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. And the punt will hit at the one just a little too far for them to be able to down it. It'll be a touchback and come out to the 20. He'll keep it himself. He is going nowhere. Stop at the line of scrimmage. Really nice job by the defense playing responsibility football, making sure the quarterback couldn't make any of his reads, making sure the picture is not clear, getting downhill, getting the quarterback on the ground. Still sitting at their own 20 after that last one. Here's second and 10. Looking for a man. It's Sanders. Got his man quickly. 
and they'll shove him out of bounds after the short game. He's just winning that matchup in the slot every time. And when you put him in the slot, Reese, he's closer to the quarterback. It's an easier throw. We can run in, we can run out, and really take advantage of his versatility of the guy in that slot position. They'll try to move the chains on third and short from the 25. From the gun, wants to pass. Wide open downfield. And he's running in the open. Touchdown, Bucks! And the pummeling has started. And this offense is clicking. Another touchdown. Didn't have to go far for this drive, but this offense is doing what they want, how they want, when they want. PAT unit on the field. And the extra point splits the uprights, and they're up 35 to 10. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they finish with a huge play in the passing game, covering 75 yards to Housing. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. On the move from inside is five. Good job by the coverage unit to put a stop to that return. Vanderbilt has it back and heading out to go on the attack. One back in the backfield, and they'll give it to him. Finds a little bit of space. He'll get three out to the 15. Small game, I know. But again, the defense knows he's going to run the football. He's willing to run the football, not just drop back and pass. Make him honor the run game. you got to do a lot of this. Got three on first down. It's second and seven. Looking to pass. It's Carter. It's complete to the right. And he'll run across the sidelines after the good game. They just can't seem to cover this guy. He keeps getting open, even when he's running out of space on the sideline. Yeah, running out of space, they're still going to feature him. They, they see the matchup, and look at the balance and the coordination and just knowing where I'm out on the field to get the feet inbounds and secure the catch. What a play and what a day for this young man. Ran through the tackle and he's got room to run. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. And you can see why it's so tricky for a defense to have to stop these draw plays. Everything the offense is doing is telling you pass. The quarterback, the offensive line, the running backs delaying. You've taken your deep drop in coverage. And now you've got to rally and find the football and do it trying to avoid these big 300-pound bodies running at you full speed. Not an enviable task. And it's just simple. Simple first down run, showing your physicality, setting your offense up in a good spot. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. Off play action. Got a man, it's Stowers. Net had all the makings of bug meat windshield, but how about the little corner taking on the big tight end and keeping him from getting the first? Nice route there by the tight end, making it real easy for his quarterback to find an easy completion. A completion, but not quite enough for the first down. Third down coming for this offense. They'll try to pick it up on the ground. And he's not down, but not before moving the chains. Listen, his team's obviously down in this game, but it's not his fault. I mean, this guy showed up to play. He's been churning out big play after big play. Already over 100 yards rushing in this game. He's carrying his weight. He needs his buddies around him now to pick up the slack a little bit and help get this team back in the game. Grab behind the line. It's Skinner. Didn't pick up a lot there. Moved it forward just a few. And offenses nowadays, they're really just counting numbers. How many guys do you have out wide? How many guys do I have out wide? If I have enough guys to block your guys, boom, it's just built into the offense. Pitch, catch, let me get a few yards. This offense has a second down play. Hand off to Jones. 
And a decent gain there before the defense makes a stop. When you're a defense, it is stop the run first. That is your first responsibility. It makes the whole game easy. And right now, they got it going on the ground. The defense is going to have to change something up. These little tiny dink and dunk, dink and dunk. You keep doing this, they'll go all the way down the field on you. So you might want to get a little bit more aggressive. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. And sometimes for the defense, it just takes one play, right, to create some momentum. Obviously, this guy's been eating him up. He's got over 100 yards rushing on the day. But finally, David, they get something positive here in the run game defensively. But you kind of know that coming in. He's going to get his. Such a great back, and he's had a great day. Need to put more plays together like that right there. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. He won't be able to return this one as it goes out of bounds. And the Colorado offense is coming back onto the field. They'll run it from the gun. Oh, he's got a chance. All kinds of running room. The 40. The 20. He was loose and setting sail, and they stop him at the six-yard line. Every time he touches the ball, you can feel the excitement from this home crowd because Palmer, he can go the distance with that game-breaking speed. You're right, David. He's a special talent. I'll tell you, these fans, they come here to see this guy play because he has game-breaking speed. Stuff you can't coach, you saw it on that play. And the Buffaloes line it up with a first and goal. They'll go with a direct snap. They get him on the ground at the three-yard line, but this defense is taking some punches. No question they wanted to get the ball to their playmakers, and both receivers have come up big through three. As we start the fourth quarter, it'll take a pretty sizable comeback to win this one. They've got it down to the three. Now it's second and goal. Trying to run it in. He pushes it forward all the way to the two-yard line. And with the stuff there, Jesse, on second down, this little third to mid-range, you got two downs. What are you thinking here? Maybe getting your quarterback out on the perimeter and giving him a run-pass option. See if you can get the defense in a bind. This defense didn't hang its head. They've stood tall after the big play. Third and goal coming. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Yeah, and on third and goal, they're saying, hey, we're still going to try to power this football and run it. Obviously haven't had success. Now getting to fourth and goal. Now it's a situation, do I kick the field goal? Do I feel comfortable running the football? Or do I need to throw this thing? They'll send out the kicker here. From the right hash, and this distance makes that angle not quite so severe. Right down the boulevard, it's good. And they'll push that lead out a little further. That lead just keeps getting fatter in this kickoff team doing a little running. He'll bring it out from inside his own 10. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Vanderbilt has the ball again, and here comes that Commodore offense. Quarterback strolling away from Heat. He's going to be able to pick up a few yards before the slide. He does a good job of dropping back, going through his progressions. Nothing there. What do I do? Go get some yards. Make it positive. Don't sit back in the pocket and force something into a bad situation or take a sack. Great job making something out of nothing. And now on second down for this offense. They'll move the running back to try to force the defense to adjust. Grab near the sticks. It's Skinner. Out to the 36-yard line after gaining 10 on that one. 
The offense has struggled. They're not going to win this game. But trust me, this coaching staff is still trying to find things to build off of for next week. And after an explosive play like that, maybe they can generate just a little bit of momentum and gain a little bit of confidence that they can keep coaching up heading into their next game. He lets one fly deep. And he bats it away. It falls incomplete. And that's just the kind of game it's been for this quarterback in this offense. you got a great game plan all week long. You're watching it throughout practice. You think you're going to have a chance to light up the scoreboard, but they're just not able to hook up. You've got to give this defense a ton of credit. They've done a great job in coverage. They've been breaking on passes. They've had their number, and that's why they're leading by as much as they are. Looking to throw, it's Carter. Fires it beautifully in on the crosser. They make the stop, trying to pick up just a little bit at a time to get to that first down marker. This offense has their work cut out for them, man, because the coverage has been so tight. And if you're not throwing to the sideline or you're not getting past the sticks, this defense is going to tackle you inbounds like they just did on that last play and bleed the clock. They'll snap it from the gun on third down. Quickly complete. Good tackle there to stop him short of the first down. It'll bring up a big decision. Well, and here's the problem offensively. Because you're trailing by so much so late in the game, the defense now is going to be playing big zone coverages, and they're going to allow you to throw the ball underneath in the middle of the field, rally to make a tackle, and bleed the clock. It's going to be hard now for this offense to claw their way back in this one. Breaks the tackle. He will not get it. A fourth down stop for this defense as they try to salt this one away. Nice job by the defense on fourth down, bowing up, getting physical, stopping the run, shutting down that fourth down play. Really good job by this defense. And these little touch passes, man, they're just the easiest completions ever for quarterbacks. Palmer, I bet you would have loved being able to just flip it forward. That counts as to your completion percentage, which is good. And then it's all run after the catch, so pretty easy for a QB. You wouldn't have been the only All-American in this booth, David, if I were allowed to push, have push passes when I was playing quarterback. I'll tell you that. It is so hard to defend. It's so hard to seal that edge, especially when this guy's full speed ahead coming around the inside. They're facing a third down. To the ground to try to pick up the first. The Buffaloes are stopped, but not before getting it past the sticks. And this is a guy that can find you the hit in yardage. That play, he just pushes the pile to get that first down. They'll snap this one from the 32. It's first down. The give to the back. Not a whole lot of room there. Three yards, maybe. Second and seven. It's just so nice to know you can start off on first down with positive plays. Positive yards, hand the football off, set up a good second down. Got three on first down. It's second and seven. He'll do it himself. Discards a man. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. Well, this is one of the fastest quarterbacks in college football, and that's why the option's a good idea, because if he can get out in space and he has a chance to get downfield, he is really difficult to tackle, and he's very difficult to catch, as you saw in that last play, getting a first down. The give. The ball squirts free. Oh, it looks as if the defense got it. And he's brought down, and this defense gets the ball back for its own. And that's a big-time play by this defense. You know when it's snowing, not only is it wet, it's freezing. Your hands are cold. You can barely feel the football. So if you can get to that football, put your head on it, or rip that thing out, a lot of times you can force some of those turnovers. Great job by the defense. Catch in the middle. It's Bell. And they'll get him down, but boy, did he put some dudes in the spin cycle. My goodness. A big game there as they did a tremendous job working the middle of the field. Yeah, and if you're going to complete that throw, Reese, quarterbacks have got to play with anticipation. You've got to get it out of your hands early and give your receiver an opportunity before the defense gets to the ball. After a big gainer on that first play, now they can really go for it on first and ten. He's looking to throw it. He's got his man. 
you just get the feeling this defense is going to make it hard on them, right? They've got the lead. It's late, and they're going to try to tackle everybody inbounds. Offense is going to have to really work for this and be smart. you got to attack the sidelines. you got to throw first downs. you got to keep this thing moving vertically down the field. Looking at a second and short now. To the air, it's Carter. What a snag by the defense. And they'll drag him down after a good return on the interception. Not only a great play, but tremendous discipline by this sophomore to make the pick. Colorado has the ball back, and the Buffaloes hoping to put their team in prime position on offense. That fumble in plus territory just ruined that last drive, David. Yeah, and those are frustrating when you got the offense moving a little bit and you put that thing on the deck, Jesse. But move on, reload, forget about it. At the end of the day, it's just fundamental football, right? They practice it all week. Five points of pressure. Every ball carrier has to have it. They just got to do a better job moving forward. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. The handoff keep working on that clock. That pickup might be best measured in inches rather than yards. Not a lot of running room there. The big defensive tackles in the middle, they're not always the best pass rushers, but they are strong, and I say country strong. They put their hands on you, you feel it. They lock people out on the line of scrimmage. They create separation. They wrap running backs up, and usually they don't get out of the midst of those big boys. Trying to move the sticks on third down. From the gun, wants to pass. Quick strike complete. Makes that one pay off, and they finally get him down at the 38. It'll be first down. He has been the go-to guy on offense all game long. And on a critical third down here in the fourth quarter, surprise, surprise, guess who they go to? That guy. And the Buffaloes will line it up on first and ten. Power football with the run. Able to scrounge three yards out of that one somehow. It's second and seven. And the defense is still fighting. They, they haven't had the day that they dreamed of. You know, talking to the coaches coming to the game, like they thought they had a good plan. They'd be ready to attack and, and, and limit some of the damage this offense has done. They haven't done it today, though. They got to go back to the drawing board, figure some things out, because this wasn't a great day. From the gun, they'll give it on the inside. And it is a good idea to gang tackle. First guy couldn't get him, second guy finally did. Man, this offense would really like to lean on this guy in the fourth quarter, right? They've got the lead, and you just saw his ability there, breaking a tackle. He looks like he's getting stronger as the game goes on. I'd expect him to get a few more carries here before this game's over. They move the tight end all over. Leaves it with the running back. And this one will be stopped for no gain. 